Okay, that's good. That's fantastic to hear that. Hello, uh, my name is uh, Jarek Berkowski and I'm from Technical Department. Uh, today we will speak uh, about integration of the TSI touchscreen keypad with the uh, Dahua intercom. A webinar will be uh, quite short because the configuration of the integration is very, uh, very simple. Okay, so yeah, so 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 we solve some uh, technical issues at the start. Okay, uh, so continuing, uh, the movie from today's webinar will be available as well on the um, supportsattle.eu. Uh, when you will have any question, you can contact us anytime on uh, on the uh, ticket platform info.sattel.eu. We will uh, answer your questions. So I think we can uh, we can start with the uh, webinar. Okay, so uh, we will integrate Dahua Intercom with the NTS, uh, NTSI. Uh, we will start with configuration of the door station from the Dahua. The most important thing is to set the IP address of the door station uh, the same, in the same class as the int TSI. Uh, with the software dedicated to the door station from the Dahua, you can find the, your door station and set the uh, IP address. Then you need to log in to, uh, to the door station. Uh, what is important about the uh, door station? We are using the Hua protocol to integrate. So uh, you need to use the uh, video door station with the Dahua protocol. Uh, at the moment, SIP is not possible to, uh, uh, to connect with the int TSI. Okay, about the settings from the uh, door station. The thing that we need to set is the FAUTIO number. Uh, in our case, we will use the factory settings. So this is the 6901. So this is the unique number of the, uh, of the door station. When we set it, we need to add uh, our uh, TSI. So we click Add and we will add the number of the TSI, which is 9901. Uh, this is the unique uh, number for the TSI. Uh, in this case, we have added previously, we have the connection, so when everything is all right and, and, and uh, TSI is properly configured, the address will be fulfilled automatically. So, so the door, door station will connect and take this address. So only to configure on the LAN config VTO for the door station 6901 and the uh, uh, indoor manager we need to add our TSI with the number 9901. That's it. Additional in the door station on the video setting and audio settings you, you can change the volumes for the specific, uh, uh, for the microphone or for the beep, for the ringing from the uh, uh, from the uh, door station. Okay, so when we do this, uh, when we done that, that's all. Only to 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 do two numbers. We need to program the widget intercom in the TSI builder. So we will switch to the TSI builder. We will add another tab, so the blank tab, when we will drag and drop intercom widget. So after the update, you have uh, drag and drop from the widget palette on the on the uh, on the our tab, the intercom, 
and we need to configure it uh, to work with the station. Right click on it and go to the properties. The most important thing, we need to configure the intercom. We need to add the new profile. So will be the name to our profile. Let it be door, door station. IP address. So this is the IP address for the from the door station. We'll copy paste it. So this is the of course without the HTTP and without the slash. So IP address of the door station. Login to the door station. In our case, admin. The password that we are using. As you can see, so room number. So this is the number of our TSI 9901 that we have set in the Dahua uh, intercom. And here, this VTO number. So we are using this factory setting 6901, the, the, the first number that we have set on the, uh, on the Dahua station. And that's it. We click OK. And we have our profile door station. Click OK. And we have here door station and which number we are using. Additional in uh, widget intercom, we can program two macro commands. So in standard way, you have three buttons. So uh, pick up call, cancel call, open the door from the door station uh, and the volume. We can add two more buttons to make some macro commands. When we add the macro command to it, automatically buttons will be visible on the screen. And you can, of course, change the icon of it. So we choose the icons is as you wish. So we can use the, the icons the same as on the different uh, different widgets. So when you add the macro commands, you the these two additional buttons will be shown on the uh, on the widget, and that's it. That's all of our configuration of the intercom. And we needed to uh, synchronize, to, to build the project, and then synchronize the uh, SD card. Uh, I will not take your time to, to, to show you the, how, how, how the um, uh, build and synchronization looks like. We have prepared the set. We will switch the camera to it. Just give me a second. Okay, we have the close view of our intercom and the TSI. We'll check the, change the uh, tab. So we will call it. Uh, I will not answer to not to get the, the, the noise. I will cancel the, the call. Uh, so as you can see, uh, very simple. We've done it with the uh, less than five minutes, only two things to set up to, um, uh, to make it uh, work. Uh, of course, if you add the intercom uh, on the TSI, you will get additional feature on it. When you cl click on the menu, bu menu button, next to the button of the login, 
you have call history from the uh, intercom. So you can see when was the call and what was the action uh, made. So if, if it was like missed call or it was like answered call, etc., etc. So you have all the log, all the history, uh, even if you open the door or no and uh, use the specific function on it. This additional button F1, F2. Okay, and the next menu is on the settings. You have two additional lists. First list is the uh, list of the intercoms. When you enter it, you will see all the Dahua intercoms connected to the TSI and the state of the specific intercom. The same with the int uh, TSI. So all the list of the int TSIs uh, connected to the uh, intercom. So you can uh, uh, mix it like one intercom to int TSI or uh, two intercoms, one int TSI. Okay, so shortly, briefly, but I hope very helpful for you, uh, about how to configure it, how to um, make it to, uh, uh, to work together. Uh, so we, uh, I think we can go to the next step. So I will answer your question. If we have some questions uh, from you, I will try to answer it uh, right now. Uh, is Satel working on integration with new web server 2.0? Uh, as I know, uh, all the versions with uh, with uh, web server 2.0, uh, so those are the versions with the C protocol on it. Uh, at the moment, we have only integration uh, with the Dahua protocol, so web server we can say 1.0. Uh, now we are uh, taking in consideration if it's possible to make the integration uh, with the SIP. Is it possible to the NTSI? And if yes, we will work with the, uh, not only for the Dahua, but we will, uh, if it's possible, we will try to make the um, integration with the SIP, with the, uh, uh, not wide range only for the Dahua, but for all other producers as well. Are there any new issues I should consider during offering the installation? Uh, good network connection, that's it. Only uh, only this make uh, could, could, could make trouble. No, nothing other uh, we can say no issues, it's work stable. Um, and uh, we can say we have very low feedback from the customers and installers as well. Uh, before we release this version, we made some uh, long-term tests with the beta version in our local uh, market and uh, on our abro uh, abroad uh, distributors as well. And we get the um, feedback that, that the solutions work stable and the customers are very happy and, and the installers also give us uh, feedback that the, this is the, um, this is the function that, that they are, was waiting for and uh, um, they are happy that can uh, do it for the customers. How do you the, the door release. You don't need to configure it. Uh, via Dahua protocol, uh, in TSI send the uh, command to the uh, intercom to uh, uh, to open and uh, open the relay, which is inbuilt on the uh, Dahua door station. Uh, 
Uh, in the same way, can I add the IP Dahua camera? Uh, for the intercom uh, widget? No, uh, it's better to add widget camera and that's it. And you can, you can, you can, you can show the stream from the, uh, from the camera as well and do some actions as well. So, so uh, showing stream from the um, Dahua IP camera was Previously, so the new 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 feature is to integrate uh, inter, uh, intercom uh, with the NTSI, as well as the IP cameras from the other producers. So this is the old we can say old functionality, but it was uh, in the TSI builder. So still this functionality works, and it's possible to do uh, to show the streams from the IP cameras. Uh, what more can I say? RTSP uh, protocol, so H.264 format, or HTTP and MJPEG format. Okay, I see there is no, no more question. Uh, if you need uh, um, some information, about the list uh, because we do some tests with the specific models of the Dahua intercom. This list is available on our website on the information from the NTSI. Um, if you will have some questions, uh, visit us on info.satel.pl and of course this webinar will be also available on uh, support.au. Uh, so uh, all the information will be available, all the list, all the information about the products uh, that we tested is uh, available at the, uh, at the moment on the website. So thank you very much for your attention. I uh, hope it, it, it will be helpful for you and it's not so complicated uh, and you can use it uh, very simple. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.